Hello internet, it's John here. I uh, hope you are all doing great. Okay, there's this um, uh, uh, case of um, uh, a grandmother uh, in uh, Palestine uh, who was um, apparently uh, moving or fleeing to a, a more uh, safe zone uh, uh, in, uh, in, in in Gaza and uh, um, uh, she, uh, she was with uh, uh, her, gra her grandson and uh, waving uh, the white fla uh, flags uh, which is a sign of uh, 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 peace um, and uh, with no provo provocation, um, a sniper uh, decided to, uh, to eliminate her. Uh, so the, uh, she was uh, holding uh, hands with, uh, with her grand uh, grandson, who now had to run away after the, the grandma was. Uh, was shot by the forces. So I, I looked at that and I was just uh, wondering what kind of uh, world we really live in. Where you don't have a place where you can uh, live in peace and, uh, and uh, uh, call it your, your home. Uh, it, it's really so sad because everyone has that comfort of at the end of the day home, home is best. But for these people in Palestine, there's no, basically there's no home. There's no, there's no home because you are bombed right in your, in your home. You are shot right in your, in your home. So it, it's, it's really sad. Uh, whatever uh, uh, the people of Palestine go through, uh, we always hope that uh, there'll be ceasefire and uh, these things will uh, just uh, come to a halt or a stop but it seems like it's 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 endless uh, the other day there was um, uh, uh, a dad or uh, a man who was also uh, uh, eliminated by a sniper uh, and uh, they were he was in a group of five people and we waving um, uh, uh, waving uh, the white flags so he was even interviewed by a journalist and he said he was going to get his brother and they, they were going, uh, they, they, they raised their arms up and they had uh, white flags, flags. but uh, one of them was, uh, uh, was shot. So honestly, there is no peace in that part of the world. Those people have no freedom at all. And it's really sad every time when you see some of these things happening and you just wonder really does it mean there are other people who are who are better than others in this world it's really sad it's really sad because uh, uh, I, I, I don't see why those people should not should not be happy like us have a home like us and have the freedom of expression freedom of movement just like the rest of us it's so sad really what's uh, What's, what's happening in that part of the world and I think uh, uh, everybody should uh, if you are able to talk about it you, you, uh, we should talk about it if you are, uh, if you are able to act uh, we should act uh, because people are losing lives and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, majority of us are keeping quiet at the same time then later on, we just start uh, dying with guilt that uh, I wish we had done this and that and all that. It happened to Rwanda when there was genocide in Rwanda. Most of the countries were silent and they were saying, ah, no, those are just um, uh, savages. Those are um, uh, internal affairs. Eventually, um, uh, millions of uh, uh, Rwandese uh, 
were killed in that process. Yet the international community were just watching and uh, silent and being silent. So the same thing, if we are not careful, this will degenerate, degenerate into a similar case as was in, in Rwanda. Because people are uh, supporting, uh, uh, powerful nations are supporting the genocide. It's not a good thing, a, a good thing to do. Um, no one should be happy that a life has been lost. Uh, and uh, two wrongs can never, can never be, can never make a, a right. So anywhere where there's impunity and uh, inhumane acts to a, a fellow human being, we should be able to speak up and say this is wrong. Um, there was the case of uh, 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 the IDF uh, forces going to uh, an hospital uh, and uh, eliminating three, three patients uh, in the, uh, with the reason that they were uh, the militants of uh, a mass. But th that is still wrong. Because they went there pretending to be uh, women, they were wearing women dresses, they went there uh, pretending uh, to be uh, a cripple in a wheelchair, they went there with prams for children pretending like they're having babies, and they were re disguised dressing like women. Really, that's so sad. So sad. Whatever is happening, I hope uh, uh, somebody will act and uh, we just stop this mess. Everyone deserves to be happy and uh, uh, live uh, peacefully in this world. I don't think I have. I don't think some of us who live freely and are happy. I don't think uh, there is something we have done better than than them. We don't deserve to live uh, in this world better than other people. We are all the same, and we should. All of us should be happy. So. Whatever is happening in Palestine and uh, the images we see are uh, unwarranted and I hope it will come to an, an, an end. Somebody somewhere should really act. Nation, countries of goodwill should just support South Africa and uh, we make sure that uh, 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 Palestine uh, and uh, Israel resolved their conflict and uh, generally uh, peace should reign, reign in the, in the middle, middle East. For that, uh, for the gran, uh, grandma who was shot and um, it's really, it, it, it's really sad because that grandson or grandchild for that matter will be having, I think will be having trauma for the rest of the of their lives. It's really whatever happened in that uh, 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 in that street of uh, Gaza was not uh, right at all because they were wave, waving uh, the white uh, flags and so there was no need uh, no need at all for them to be attacked. They didn't show any sign of provocation and all that and uh, or anything to warrant All right, guys, I feel like talking about it. We should just uh, uh, support the move to stop uh, genocide and just preach uh, peace wherever we are. All right, guys, thanks a lot and see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.